Back school is back in session and the National STEM Festival is here. It's an initiative for middle and high school students to foster creativity, critical thinking, and their passion for STEM. Here to tell us all about it is Carrie Byron. Thank you so much for being here today. I am very excited to be here because this is the Silicon Valley yes. right here. This is the home of most AI, biotech, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, Mythbusters. So I really want to see so many submissions coming from this area of California to represent represent us in Washington, D.C. for the National STEM Festival. I feel like we have a pretty good chance, Carrie, I hope. You know, I'm hoping. I've, my uh, other co-founder, she's yeah. New York, and then we have somebody else who's in Minnesota, so we have a little competition, like Ooh. where most of the thing's going to come from. And uh, right now, Texas is leading, so California okay. needs to, they need to step up their game. We need to tell all the kids, 7th to 12th grade, that they need to submit a project. Now, these are like science fair projects. Okay. Um, so innovations, research, inventions that will make the world a better place in some way for either their wow. community or the people around them or their family. Awesome. And you may recognize Carrie. That's because she was on Mythbusters for a while, which was such a fun show. I was telling you, I always watched it as a kid with my mom. Um, tell us your background in STEM and why you want to be involved in this. Um, well, my background in STEM started on Mythbusters. Mm -hmm. I was an artist that got involved on Mythbusters and all of a sudden was like, wait, science is so creative. Yes. This is why I think that the STEM Festival is a little bit different than most science fairs, mm -hmm. is that we're taking critical thinking and empathy and marrying them together. So kids who are putting in these projects, trying to solve problems that we're all facing, actually it, it, it creates um, that hope for the future, that we're really inspiring these kids into STEM pathways that are gonna make all our lives better. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, if it benefits us, we love this. This is wonderful, Carrie. Um, have you seen, uh, tell me a little bit of, about, about what kind of projects you've seen from these kids and just what they've done. I mean, I've seen both um, just incredible science prowess as well as creativity, mm -hmm. like real problem solvers. Everything from a novel pancreas for under $30. Wow. As well as a 3D printed arm from um, a kid who wanted, he, he had met a boy with no arm and was really upset that the prosthetic cost so much that the kid couldn't get one wow. and that he would grow out of it. So he created an open source arm that would actually, you could print bigger with the kid. Wow, so cool. So as they grew, then you could, it could grow with you, right? So yeah. that's the point there. Very, very cool. Um, if anyone's watching at home and they're thinking, how do I even start to think of these ideas? Like, what would you recommend? How would they even think of what kind of project to tackle? You know, uh, we have a whole bunch of different categories and a lot of examples on nationalstemfestival.com so mm -hmm. that you can kind of just think about something that you want to solve locally or within your family. Um, I, I talked to a girl who was really upset that her grandmother got misdiagnosed for anemia mm. over and over and over. So she created a machine learning app that would take pictures of eyes because oh. from the photo of your eye, it could detect whether you were um, someone who would be maybe um, have anemia. And so like she just really wanted to fix a, a problem that was within her own family. Uh -huh. So, you know, is it the water system that you're near? Is it is it garbage? Is it what is it in your community, in your neighborhood that you think that you could creatively solve? And then work backwards from there. We have so many cool experts in this community, the STEM community, and everybody's really willing to help kids and help them ideate and figure out how they can do what they do. I mean, it really just takes a little bit of creativity. Very cool. As you mentioned the other co-founders as well, as co-founders, what was your goal for kids to take away from this? Um, well, for us, we really love the idea of we're preparing kids for the future, for that mm -hmm. future workforce to really make America a great place. It's, it's so inspiring to see that catalyst moment for a kid when they're seen for what they're doing and then it makes them want to just take that further. So fun. If people are watching this today and they say, maybe I can get involved, maybe my kids can get involved, I know my kids have great ideas, what should they do? Um, there's so many ways to get involved, even if you don't have kids, but uh, find all of your 7th through 12th graders, they might be the kid in the back of the class that doesn't raise their hand. And teachers, educators, they know who that is. Yeah. Uh, NationalSTEMFestival.com. Go check it out. Uh, you, As an adult, you might be an expert that wants to be involved. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to sponsor a kid's journey to get to the festival. We've done this really cool thing where we lifted all the financial barriers. So it's not wow. just the same science 
fair kids you see everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's actually serving a lot of communities that get underestimated because kids are going to get a trip to Washington, D.C. so they can present their projects for high-level government, for CEOs, for... It's basically the national stage. There's so many opportunities surrounding this incredible moment. Very cool. Tell us a little bit about the timeline. So submissions are open now. Where does this go from here? Submissions are open now till October 20th. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't have to use a science fair project that like is brand new. It can be from something last year. It can be an updated uh -huh. uh, project that you're already working on. And you've got till October 20th and then March 19th through 22nd of 2025 will be the National STEM Festival in Washington, D.C. Okay, Gary, I can't wait to see how this one ends. We're hoping California can take home the prize. Go but California! We're proud of whoever does, <laughs> and we're proud of all these kids who are even a part of it. This is so, so cool. Gary, thank you so much. Thank you.